California are dealing with the dangers of extreme heat and rapidly spreading wildfires. 103 degrees in downtown Los Angeles, 112 in Burbank, as climate change continues to yield record temperatures. Human activities, from pollution to overpopulation, are driving up the Earth's temperature and fundamentally changing the world around us. The main cause is a phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. Gases in the atmosphere, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and chlorofluorocarbons, let the sun's light in but keep some of the heat from escaping, like the glass walls of a greenhouse. The more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the more heat gets trapped, strengthening the greenhouse effect and increasing the Earth's temperature. Human activities, like the burning of fossil fuels, have increased the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution. The rapid increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has warmed the planet at an alarming rate. While Earth's climate has fluctuated in the past, atmospheric carbon dioxide hasn't reached today's levels in hundreds of thousands of years. Climate change has consequences for our oceans, our weather, our food sources, and our health. Ice sheets, such as Greenland and Antarctica, are melting. The extra water that was once held in glaciers causes sea levels to rise and spills out of the oceans, flooding coastal regions. Warmer temperatures also make weather more extreme. This means not only more intense major storms, floods, and heavy snowfall, but also longer and more frequent droughts. These changes in weather pose challenges. Growing crops becomes more difficult. The areas where plants and animals can live shift, and water supplies are diminished. In addition to creating new agricultural challenges, climate change can directly affect people's physical health. In urban areas, the warmer atmosphere creates an environment that traps and increases the amount of smog. This is because smog contains ozone particles, which increase rapidly at higher temperatures. Exposure to higher levels of smog can cause health problems such as asthma, heart disease, and lung cancer. While the rapid rate of climate change is caused by humans, humans are also the ones who can combat it. If we work to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy sources like solar and wind, which don't produce greenhouse gas emissions, we might still be able to prevent some of the worst effects of climate change. We can head to Greenland where satellite imagery shows the extent of the melting after what was the hottest ever July on record. Rosie and the Cube team have the story. The World Meteorological Association say that every photo shows a story. Well, I'd like to show you two back to back. Uh, they've shared this online because using satellite images, images shot from Earth, we can see the extent of the Greenland ice melting. This is August 2018. Now, keep an eye on these spots here because this was the same picture, the same satellite image, but this year instead, this August. And now look at these much larger areas of blue water, melt water around the ice. Now, this is causing real concern to scientists. And using those satellite images, we can really clearly see what's been happening in Greenland, particularly over the last month. NASA here is sharing that in July there was a major melting event spread across the Greenland ice sheet. Billions of tons of meltwater streamed into the Atlantic Ocean. And we can look actually at the world mean 
temperature over the last few yes. years. Uh, here we have them here. Uh, and these lines here denote the world media temperature over the year. You can see, uh, this is where it started in the 80s, that increase year on year, that red line getting higher and higher, showing the world's temperature going up and up. Now this is causing concern. Using those satellite images as well, from kind of Europe's eye in space, that's Cornepius, we can see here this picture of France and of uh, Spain. Now I want you to keep an eye on two things. First of all, see this dry land here, but this is the Pyrenees and also the Alps. Now let's look from one month to the next. Uh, this is what we see, a much more vast area of dry land. The Pyrenees, you can't almost uh, see them there, and also the Alps, much reduced uh, snow on top there. The consequence of this, of course, is that we need to be more closely monitoring Earth satellites and their vision of the Earth to better understand what's going on. Now, only just last night, the European Space Agency launched yet another satellite to try and better understand in real time what's happening from space on the Earth's surface. This is the story of three plastic bottles, empty and discarded. Their journeys are about to diverge with outcomes that impact nothing less than the fate of the planet. But they weren't always this way. To understand where these bottles end up, we must first explore their origins. The heroes of our story were conceived in this oil refinery. The plastic in their bodies was formed by chemically bonding oil and gas molecules together to make monomers. In turn, these monomers were bonded into long polymer chains to make plastic in the form of millions of pellets. Those were melted at manufacturing plants and reformed in molds to create the resilient material that makes up the triplets' bodies. Machines filled the bottles with sweet, bubbly liquid, and they were then wrapped, shipped, bought, opened, consumed, and unceremoniously discarded. And now here they lie, poised at the edge of the unknown. Bottle one, like hundreds of millions of tons of his plastic brethren, ends up in a landfill. This huge dump expands each day as more trash comes in and continues to take up space. As plastics sit there being compressed amongst layers of other junk, rainwater flows through the waste and absorbs the water-soluble compounds it contains and some of those are highly toxic. Together, they create a harmful stew called leachate, which can move into groundwater, soil, and streams, poisoning ecosystems and harming wildlife. It can take bottle one an agonizing 1,000 years to decompose. Bottle two's journey is stranger, but unfortunately no happier. He floats on a trickle that reaches a stream, a stream that flows into a river, and a river that reaches the ocean. After months lost at sea, he's slowly drawn into a massive vortex where trash accumulates, a place known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Here, the ocean's currents have trapped millions of pieces of plastic debris. This is one of five plastic-filled gyres in the world's seas, places where the pollutants turn the water into a cloudy plastic soup. Some animals, like seabirds, get entangled in the mess. They and others mistake the brightly colored plastic bits for food. Plastic makes them feel full when they're not, so they starve to death and pass the toxins from the plastic up the food chain. For example, it's eaten by lanternfish. The lanternfish are eaten by squid. The squid are eaten by tuna. And the tuna are eaten by us. And most plastics don't biodegrade, which means they're destined to break down into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics, which might rotate in the sea eternally. But Bottle 3 is spared the cruel purgatories of his brothers. A truck brings him to a plant where he and his companions are squeezed flat and compressed into a block. Okay, this sounds pretty bad too, but hang in there, it gets better. The blocks are shredded into tiny pieces, which are washed and melted so they become the raw materials that can be used again. As if by magic, Bottle 3 is now ready to be reborn as something completely new. For this bit of plastic with such humble origins, suddenly, the sky is the limit.
Just one of the guys down here. Well, I could be more specific. Uh, I'm a human. And I uh, just wanted to, you know, for the sake of all of us Earthlings out there, just wanted to say... Simulation. Huh. Give each other names like Ahmed and Pedro And yeah, we like to wear clothes Girls still look beautiful And it covers up our human Eat a lot of tuna fish But these days it's like we don't know how to act All these shootings, pollution We under attack on ourselves Like let's all just chill Respect what we built Like look at the internet, it's cracking this <laughs> Fellas, don't you love it? <laughs> and I heard women are better than a So what we got is land for What we gotta stand for Love And we love the Come on, everybody. I know we're not all the same, but we're living on the same earth. Have you ever been to Earth? Everyone who's listening has been to Earth, Ariana. We're not making music for aliens here. Are we gonna die? You know what, Bieber? We might die. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, there's so many people out there who don't think global warming's a real thing. You know, we gotta save this planet. We're being stupid. Unless we get up together now. Guys, everybody look into whatever the... Leonardo DiCaprio is always pushing because I feel like that guy knows more about the earth and how we're it up than anybody. Like if the aliens did come, we should definitely send Leo as our guy, our rep. In fact, the prophets that come along with the streams and the sale of this song are going right into the earth. Let's raise some money for charity. Any words, Leo? This might be my favorite song ever. It's awesome. Wow. Thanks, Leo.
guys, thank you so much. Honestly, everybody, scientists are saying that we have about 12 years to turn this environmental crisis around or we're screwed. What do you say? You guys want to save the world? Of course you do. Go to the website, learn how we're going to do it. I'd like to think it's how you lean on my shoulder And now I see myself with you I don't say a word But still you take my breath And still the thing
I'd like to think it's how you lean on my shoulder And now I see myself with you I don't say a word But still you take my breath And still the things I know There you go Saving me from out of the cold Fire on fire will normally kill us With this much desire Together we'll win us They say that we're out of control And some say we're sinners But don't let them ruin Our beautiful rhythms Cause when you unfold me And tell me you love me And look in my eyes You are perfection, my only direction It's fire on fire Fire on fire would normally kill us But this much desire, together we're winners They say that we're out of control and some say we're sinners But don't let them ruin our beautiful rhythms Fire on fire would normally much desire together we win they say the prayer out of control and some say we're sinners but don't let them ruin our beautiful rhythms cause when you unfold me and tell me you love me and look in my eyes you are perfection my only direction it's fire on fire you are perfect my only direction is fire on fire.